Hey guys, so I um, am now able to te teach Calculus 3. Um, I didn't do so well the first time I um, took the class because I was like lazy and I was really addicted to game gaming. I was pretty depressed at that time. But when I relearned it a second time, everything made much more sense. And I'm actually going to retake this class in the uh, fall semester so I can uh, get a, like an A+. plus. That would be like my certificate to like show that I can teach this class. Um, anyways, so I the first thing I'm going to talk about is the equation of lines and planes. OK, so lines here, we have a line that's linear. It's completely straight. It's um, I didn't draw it straight, but basically we have a point call it R naught and it stretches out to infinity. And the equation of a line is R equals R naught plus V T. T is a parameter, it's any real number, and V is the direction vector, like this, V. And an equation of a plane is um, shaped in the form, so imagine you have a point, um, X naught, and it has a vector length of X that's on a plane, and a normal vector N. Then the equation is a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught is zero. And this makes sense because the dot product, these are perpendicular. So the dot product of n and x would be zero. So now I'm going to like uh, go through a few examples and then I'm going to give some practice problems so you guys can stay tuned to the end. I'm also going to present so you guys can try for yourselves. Um, I'm also going to give the solutions to these problems because I want you guys to know to get some feedback to see if you're doing it right. If you aren't doing it right, uh, please say in the comment section, how do you do this question now? And I'll come reply to you. All right. So um, yeah, also one more thing. I will only be providing the final answer to those practice problems at the end since I want you guys to try it out yourselves. I also highly encourage you to try the problem first before looking at the answer so you get more practice. First of all, let's consider a question that um, I got for my um, one of my midterm exams, okay? So let's consider a line L that has the equation this. So it's called R of T is equal to 202. That's the initial point plus a direction vector, plus t, um, 1, negative 1, and 2. OK, and can also consider a plane that has the scalar equation x plus y plus z is equal to 2. OK, um, let's label this question 1. OK, so part A is uh, find the point of intersection on the line L and the plane P. So to do that, it's best to have, whenever you're trying to find a point of intersection between a line and a plane, I recommend you write your line as in parametric equations first, as in x, y, and z. So x is equal to 2 plus t, 2 plus t. Um, y is equal to 0 minus t. It's just negative t. And z is equal to 2 plus 2t. Two well, since you're um, just considering the point of intersection, replace x and y and z in terms of t. So x plus y plus z is 2. 2 plus t minus t, because plus y, plus 2 plus 2t two is equal to 2. Uh, t's and t's cancel out. 4 plus 2t is equal to 2. And t is equal to negative 1. And when you, um, and when you like uh, plug that back into um, x, y, and z, you get the point of intersection, um, int point of intersection is 1, 1, and 0, 1, 1, 0. X is 1, Y is 1, and Z is 0. Part B, um, 
Now, imagine now, okay, so actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, okay, so, okay, let, let's just do part B first. Okay, so now consider a point, uh, line, a line that passes through, th this is line is not the line L, uh, you can call it L2 if you like. So it's not the same L here. Line passes through the uh, Q, it, let's call it a point Q, 0, 0, 1. And it is perpendicular to plane P. The, it's perpendicular to the plane P. Let's find the vector equation for this. Okay, how do you do that? Well, it, it's perpendicular to P, right? So this line is actually the normal vector. Right, because this line is perpendicular to P. So it's the normal vector of P. It's the N vector, right? So line, the line has direction vector. It's just one, one, one. And it has a starting point. It has a starting point of zero, zero, one. So this line has The um, vector equation is 0, 0, 1, that's its starting point, plus t, 1, 1, 1. Or if you like, if you like to be fancy, you can say that it's t, t, 1 plus t, 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 1 plus t. I should have did this diagonal spiky line for t vect thing like this, but um, it doesn't really matter. Okay, part C. Now find the scalar equation of the plane. That find the scalar equation of the plane that passes through Q zero zero one and is perpendicular to the plane P. Is no, sorry, sorry. And the line L is sorry. Um, find the scalar equation of the plane that passes through Q zero zero one and the line L. Okay, so we know that uh, the L is, it's now talking about this L here. So how you do it is, you know that the line L has initial point 202. Two. Right? Okay. Um, you know that the line, okay, so you know that line L has the initial point 202, and one of the vectors is uh, one, 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 negative one, and two. It has one of these vectors, okay? The other point is Q001. Two, zero, two. To Q, right? So two zero two um, QP. That is equal to um, two zero one. Am I right? I'm right. Two zero one. Okay. And basically, what's happening on this plane? is something like this, okay? 
So a plane, not the plane P, but a plane, you have this point Q right now. It has a direction vector on the plane of one, negative one, and two. And it also has a vector to the point P of um, two, zero, one. And here's a rule of thumb for um, finding like the scalar equation of a plane. Find two vectors that connect to a common point, that have a common point. Find two vectors that have a common point on the plane. And then do the cross product, because the cross product will yield the normal vector, because it's going to be perpendicular to these two vectors. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the cross product to find the, um, we're going to do the cross to find the normal vector. So um, this, let's call this 1, negative 1, and 2, v1, and let's call this v2. And it really doesn't matter which order, v1 times v2 or v2 times v1. And it doesn't, really doesn't matter if you say t equals 1, 2, or 3, or 4, or so on for this thing, because like it's going to cancel out and just make it in simplest terms. OK, so. I, J, we're doing the cross products right now. So that's uh, one, negative one, two, two, zero, one. And let us do this. So that is I, negative one, two, zero, one, minus J, um, one, two, two, one. plus k, 1, negative 1, 2, 0. And that is equal to, and that is equal to, OK, so I, uh, negative 1, this is 0, so negative 1, uh, 1 minus 4 is, um, Wait, so one minus four is three. No, one minus four is negative three, but then that's three and then two. Yeah, here, two. Okay, so then this is your normal vector to this plane, your n in this case. Okay, so now what you do is, um, you know, you is you use a point. You know the point Q is. Um, you know the Q po point Q is on the plane, and you have the normal vector, right? So the answer, the scalar equation of plane, is just um, negative one x minus two plus three y minus zero plus two z minus two is equal to zero. So that's, uh, let's see, negative, that would be negative x plus two plus three y uh, plus two z minus four is zero. Uh, that's negative x plus three y plus two z is two negative x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 2. And that translates to, I like having x being positive. That's just me. Uh, minus 2z is negative 2. And we are done the problem. All right, so that is the problem for today. Now, time for some practice problems. Um, so clear all my drawings. And I'm going to provide only the final answer to these problems. Okay, so um, 
What are some good problems that you guys can do? Uh, something that one something that's challenging for you guys to do. do. No, that's too easy. Um. Hmm. Okay, let me see this. Uh, okay, so the first one. Okay, so find um, the first question is uh, the plane, find the scalar equation of the plane with points uh, 2, 1, 2, three, negative eight, six, and negative two, negative three, one. And when you find the, uh, when you get the correct answer, you should get an answer of um, 5x minus 3y minus 8z is negative 9. Uh, I'll give you a hint here. Um, remember the rule of thumb I talked about where you find a common point on the plane and two vectors on the plane and then do the cross products with it. The second question is an intersection problem. It is, um, okay, so find the line of intersection. No, no, find the point of intersection. Uh, okay, so let's say you have x is two minus two t, y is equal to 3t, and z is equal to 1 plus t, and you have a plane of a 3x minus 2y plus, no, sorry, 3x minus y plus 2z is a 5. And when you get, when you do it correctly, you should get an answer of, um, the point being negative two, six, and three. Okay, let's, um, here's the third question. This one's slightly trickier, um, but if you guys need help, uh, just put it in the comment section of what your approach is and I'll go and help you. Um, okay, so find the equation. I don't care if it's parametric or like in the vector form, find the equation of the line, find the equation of the line through the point through zero, one, two, that is perpendicular perpendicular that is perpendicular to um, sorry, what? Through zero, one, two. Oh my God. Um, okay, sorry. Find the um, that is uh, what you call it. That is parallel. Parallel to the plane. x plus y plus z is 2. And um, perpendicular to the line. Perpendicular to the uh, line uh, with the parametric equations, x is 1 plus t, y is... Um, one minus t and z is two t.
And when you do it correctly, you should get an answer of um, the, the answer of um, X is 3T. Y is um, 1 minus T. And Z is 2 minus 2T. All right, so these are the practice problems I want you guys to try for yourselves. I'm only giving the final answer. So yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love to stay, but for now, I got to jump. I'll see you guys on the other side of the bridge. Catch you next time.